You know the woman known as Spit Mom? She gained national attention after posting this What's Your Excuse photo of herself online. That was just months after having her third child. Well, that photo quickly drew some debate from both sides. Many were calling this photo fat shaming, but others disagreed. In fact, Maria Kang, AKA Fit Mom, has started a movement of 17,000 no excuse women across the world. These are groups that get together to work out and they all say health is a priority. Well, meanwhile, a few moms in Kansas City are fighting back with their own campaign. They call it, we don't need an excuse. And they have like sparked this real life mommy war. So recently, Kang and the head of the No Excuse Mom Club sat down with this opposing group to hash it out. Take a look at this. Uh, regardless just... of whether you're intending shame, when people feel shame, they feel powerless. Saying that somebody has an, needs an excuse is implying that they are at fault for something. I never said anyone should look like me. But you don't have don't. those disclaimers on that photo. And what? you say that you're not responsible for the thoughts that are in other people's minds. But that's very similar to a celebrity saying, I'm not a role model for children. Mm -hmm. But you are. You plummeted yourself oh, into this worry, into the spotlight. <laughs> Wow, so it's definitely a little tense there, yeah. right guys? Huh? So what they did was the next morning after they had this talk, Kang spent an entire day in the life of her main detractor, that woman Sarah, and she kind of flipped the script, letting Sarah know how her attitude has affected her. And I just felt like, oh come on, I'm a mom, right, you know, and I feel right. like you took all know about feel like it. you took my my mom badge away from me. Yeah. So it's interesting, they spent this whole day together and really learned what it was like in each other's shoes. What did you guys think of this? Well, the first thing that I thought of is that it's the net delivery. You know, we kind of talked about that. When she was talking about, hey, you know, no excuses, I totally get that and I think that she's, she should be able to say that. The right. thing is that how she actually said it. Right. You know, that nonverbal, she came across a little bit smug, What's a little bit excuse? arrogant. Yeah. But, you know, if she could kind of soften that up a little bit and understand that there's other people that are struggling, I think that she She's even going to have a stronger following. But I don't think this club would have ever started if she yeah. didn't have that strong presence and had that picture. And, you know, I mean, sometimes shack value, yeah. we have to admit that, hey, it gets her attention. Well, right? it was interesting to see them both kind of open up to each other. There was Absolutely. even a point where they're out at the woman's son's class for something. And Maria's like, look, you've got an hour and a half of downtime. You could be walking around the yeah. block right you now. You could go to so the gym and come back. It's about opening up your eyes and finding those opportunities. Yes. And I agree with you. She could be taking taking the child out and she could be strolling him along yeah, or yeah. running along with him. You, there's no excuses when it comes to that. Yeah. You can find some exercise, even if it's going up and down the stairs. Yeah.